Hello, welcome to another vlog. Um, it is currently Wednesday, I believe. Where did I leave you? I think I left you on... We're reading Poppy War around page 120-ish, 110, I don't know. But hoping to do a bit more of that today. I'm actually going to attempt at taking a walk. <laughs> it's very slippery outside, but I also just really need to get out. And we have snow, which gives me very much needed dopamine. So I'm really excited to keep reading because it's actually a book I'm really enjoying. And also, I think um, this week should have Logan's TV avatar. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have that too. So I'm going to go open... Oh, I can't see where I'm walking. I have my camera in front of me. i um, gonna go open my vault. What, what do we need most? But it's like an ongoing joke with me and Logan that I constantly get boots, like from loot and also from here. So I'm hoping that's not the case. I got a necklace. Oh, actually, my necklace is shite too. It's 161. Oh, yeah, they fucking replaced that. <laughs> I didn't even so notice that. Well, it could be more difficult to replace. Yeah, so, so it's either I get two options I really need or <laughs> or none at all. Because well, well, you, you can't get a 228 item from anywhere except from your vault. Yeah. Whereas like raid gear is 213 and 220. Mm -hmm. Like at the end of it, if you get into a heroic run. Yeah. Like I might go to see if you can come along to the heroic today. Be fun. We're back with Logan's TB avatar. Update people while they drink mm -hmm. my tea because I'm cold. <laughs> so I managed to read Terry Pratchett's Mort and also finished Recursion. I think I'd left. I think I'd left this for months, hadn't I? Yeah, you had like a gap of half a year. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, that was a very good read. But I enjoyed it thoroughly. So dude invents a chair that lets you kill yourself and go back in time. So it gets up, gets like out of control, and a large chunk of the book is. To the main characters trying to kind of like jump back and prevent things from happening and it's very well written it's it gets like really intense towards the end as well time travel is always really iffy because you need to stick to like the the rules that you build internally while you're writing it and blake crouch does a great job of doing that because sometimes it's like oh well if they can do this why can't they just go back and do this but it's all like established and it makes sense within the the rules that you set with the time travel. So. Very important with the time mm. travel theme. Otherwise you're like, why can't I just go back in time and stop it all? <gasps> Wait, I we don't should know set what up stars. a call pile for Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want to pass me the... Yep. So we have Mort by Terry Pratchett. Essentially Death gets an apprentice. His name is Mort. Takes him on the job, shows him the ropes, does a bad job and almost unravels the entirety of reality. So again, a little bit with time stuff, no? Yeah, a bit like me. Okay, I can see myself in Mort. <laughs> But uh, no, it's not really time travel, but there's a lot of like funny idioms and really like, quirky and witty little metaphors. Sarah Pratch is great at, at writing something that's really enjoyable to read. But will you read more? Definitely. My plan is to read like as many of these as I can. Oh, we could Google um, oh, like, like 50 plus of them. recommended ways to go about it. Yeah, I think like Dean's sending me another one for my birthday. Uh, so characters? No. There's a lot of really interesting characters. Atmosphere, I would say probably seven. Writing, ten. Wow. Yep. Plot? Uh, plot, seven. Intrigue? Eight, I'd say. Uh, logic? Logic. Uh, difficult to say. You can think yeah. of it as world building. Ten then. <laughs> the, the premise was like two realities are overriding each other. Continuity yeah. was, not a big, was not a big concern. <laughs> <laughs> enjoyment? Uh, enjoyment, ten. I would probably read this again. It didn't quite reach five stars, but it did come out as 8.86, which is very high. Um, and uh, you need to reach nine for mm -hmm. five stars. Um, so those are the two reads, two four star reads then. Mm -hmm. And then what did you not get to? And instead of reading <laughs> Rhythm of War, Arcana Unbound and Golden Sun, I did drawing D&D and World of Warcraft, so. That's fine. Yeah, but that does, however, mean... Can you take the cards out of them? Uh, yeah. They're, that they're does, however, here. mean yeah. that um, you actually take one step back. Yeah. So, nay respawns for you. Uh, this is nay on the cards. I've already won, did you know? I didn't know. I, haven't, I, hadn't, looked, I hadn't looked at the video. <laughs> I have reached the avatar state, so unless you also reach it and then we tie, 
Let's um, roll a bunch of eights. Hmm? Spin a bunch of eights. Well, I don't even know if that's possible. You're here. Mm -hmm. So you have best case scenario, right? Um, um, one, two, three, yeah, four, five. To reach the end. If you take all the shortcuts, it's Six, seven, pass. eight. One, two, three. Oh no, that's not the way. One, two. I don't know. I think you can still yeah, possibly yeah. It's, do it. It's possible. But it would be very, very hard. I guess let's start. How are you? Are you feeling confident for how many books you'll read this month? <laughs> a bit more so, yeah. Because okay. although I've got it, more things I want to read, I'm starting that copile thing. So, I'll, I'll is copile actually? Yeah, more basically being able to see how many that I've read. So that's nice. I will say that currently it's the tenth of February, and February has less. It does days. have less days. So. Well done. That's not maybe the strongest of stars, but aiming for then. Uh, three one, two, or eight? Three. Oh, no, oh, wait, actually, wait, wait. one, two, three, four, right five, six, seven. Again? Yeah, you're in the right place. One, two, seven three. Seven is what you four, want because of the air seven. ball. Yeah. Five. Yeah, five. <laughs> not too bad. Does that make it impossible now? I don't know. Cora. <laughs> <laughs> Read a story with uh, LGBTQIA plus rep. Which I think actually Rat Queens, the one you wanted to read, probably qualifies. Yeah, it, it does, it does. Volume four, Logan has read the previous ones too. So it's just gonna be a continuation for him too. Mm -hmm. That's that's achievable, achievable goals. Instead, instead of <laughs> that, or do you still well, want I to will, put that? I will get to this. If it fits any of these, it's going in. I don't know, let's see what we get. One. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, yes. Now I think it's impossible. <laughs> I know you don't. You'll get to see. I roll. Read a book where the main character is an adult. Oh, well. <sighs> Rhythm of War. Brandon Sanderson. It will be done. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Hmm. Maybe. It's three. <laughs> oh, but you got something. What's that? Like? I don't know. Oh, it's a genre spin. Okay. The color. What's green? green? Contemporary. Would you like a silent patient? Psychological mystery. And the silent patient is actually about a psychologist who gets kind of very interested in a case of a woman who has shot her husband five times and then went mute. Um, hmm. And that's all you kind of need to know. Intrigued a bit? Yes, um, where's the card? So actually you would get a respin as well. That all just depends if you want to actually finish the game or if you're just gonna concede when you when I win. <laughs> depends. I'm never never gonna concede. Like Trump. <laughs> I won by a lot. <laughs> it's fake news. Stop this the spins. This is fake. <laughs> but don't stop the spins. Stop the spins that you did and let my spins continue. So this is gonna be spin number four. Two. <laughs> that was a small spin. Okay. Going well. <laughs> it is the desert. Read a book that includes a topic of mental health. Oh my god, this would have been perfect for us. Yeah. A blank that... just means there's no option. You don't okay. get a respin. Yeah, lock and key will fit. See, and it will be a bit more manageable than having like 15 books of like over yeah. 500 pages. So, um, oh yeah, these are big hmm? for comics. So one of these. But they're gonna Locking be quick King. because is they're quite fun. Is it based on stuff by Stephen King or is it? No. It's Stephen King's son, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. Yes, yeah, spooky house. One of them. Dead parents, keys that unlock things, and a lot of introspection. I remember that. There's a lot of people thinking about like stuff, so. their lives and stuff. Yes. Can I get like a twenty? <laughs> Not a dice. That's a. Five. That's a five, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's focused. Yeah, it was. Badger Mole. Read a hardcover book. Oh, very wide of a choice. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like? I can recommend you stuff by what you feel like. It's a Poppy War hardcover book. It is. We'll pick that then, because you've been enjoying that. I have been really loving it. Poppy War. Poppy War. I'm already speaking in this vlog about this, so I don't actually need to introduce it. <laughs> it will probably go with Lock and Key and Rat Queens first, get something out of the way so that I know <laughs> that I'm going to get them done. Mm -hmm. 
and then I'll probably flip, flip a coin between Rhythm of War and Poppy War. Morning. So, uh, <laughs> it's Thursday. I have my porridge here. Um, I have some water, my laptop, and we gotta get to work. Well, we're gonna continue work. I did, I did do a couple of sprints with the Patreons yesterday, so I did get some reading done. Namely, I started on page 120, and then by the end I was at chapter 9, which is page 180. I'm really loving it. I'm really loving it, but I'm afraid of the change of the scenery, like change of pace and change of, I don't know about the pace, but change of environment, which I know is going to happen. I don't want to say, because I don't want to spoil anyone. Um, I don't know if it's a spoiler. Um, I'm just, I'm just afraid because I would, I'm just, I just love it. And I miss that setting in particular. I just need, I need more of that. Um, so I might look into more books with that particular setting. I just love it. I love it so much. I love the writing. I love the little humor bits. I love how unapologetic it is at times. I really like our main character. There's definitely cliches, you know. It's either like the chosen one or it's like the underdog rising up. Um, but it doesn't bother me because in, within the world and where she's from, like it makes total sense. So it's completely fine with me. And um, admittedly, the only bit that I sometimes get lost in is whenever we're getting told some lore or, well, not necessarily lore yet, but um, just history, who attacked whom, and it's, because um, obviously it has war at the name. There's a lot of wars had happened and probably will happen. Um, but I get a bit confused as to who's what, who are we? <laughs> I guess we won't know until we try. Uh, I feel very sluggish today though, and I feel like very, it's, it's hard. Um, I don't know if I actually forgot to take my thyroid medication yesterday. I could have, but it could just be in general. But hopefully this is gonna like walk out and my head's gonna feel better and um, the pain's gonna go away. I hope to get more reading done at some point today. We don't go the same places that we used to go. We don't this is a choice of an angle. <laughs> Hello, how on a scale from one to like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> how tired are you of hearing me talk about having a migraine? Now think of how tired I am of having one. It is, I actually had today off, which is nice, but in the usual fashion, it's almost five o'clock now, and I'm only now starting to feel like I can attempt at living um, because migraines, woo. So, however, I did uh, do some reading, so that's nice. What I tried actually doing is putting the speed a little bit faster than I normally do for when I'm listening to. So I normally listen to at a point, like 1.3 speed, but I wanted to kind of like read at the same time as the audiobook was saying it out. So I don't have to constantly, like, I, I don't have to catch every word and process it that way because it's already kind of read. So instead of my voice reading it, it was the narrator reading it. I put it at 1.8 and it kind of matched up like very well. And I found it so enjoyable. I think I tried doing that once before, but I think I either put it too low or too high and it just didn't didn't work. But this one is, and I'm actually really pumped about that discovery because this could be this could be a game changer. The type of the migraines that I have make it very difficult for me to read. And even when I don't have a migraine, if I read for too long sometimes, my eyes get really strained. This has always happened even when I checked and checked and checked my eyes and they're all fine. And that can lead to a headache that can then lead to a migraine. So reading has always been like a love-hate relationship for me actually, because it's it's been it's it's just always a bit more difficult than um one might think. This could be, but I just don't know how exactly this will work for other books. So I don't know if this is just a fluke. Or I still think I probably will have to start physically and then I could do both. I just never really try it thought of doing both. I know other people do. I can definitely see the appeal now. At least I just I was just having a really good time um, doing that. So anyway, that's an update on that. But this is the chunk I read today. Um, I think I read a little bit yesterday that I don't know if I'll update you on, but 
Uh, we are now on part two and things have started hitting the fan. I don't want to say what it is, but we're de I definitely am starting to explore the darker side of things. Um, I'm still loving this, but I do know that that is an ongoing uh, kind of commentary sometimes from people saying that once the atmosphere or the setting changes from the first part to the second part, like a for a lot of people, the first part was actually where it peaked. <laughs> I found Rin just doing the main character bullshit when there are it's just so frustrating to read about you know when the characters are making bad decisions and they're so blatantly bad in her defense the time that he she actually went through with the decision she kind of didn't have a choice but it's not like she didn't consider making that decision <laughs> i'm being very vague but if you read it you know it's not like she didn't consider making that decision plenty of times before and acted out towards that end and oh my god it's just so frustrating when they're being so dumb and it's such a theme and so many bugs and it's just like Arr! that was a very ya point <laughs> of this book even though i don't think this is considered ya but that part was so frustrating to read about the younger people having the attitude of how dare you call me and that was actually a point here like too young how dare you <laughs> that that's not an insult that is just a fact and i always found it really silly when people take offense to the fact that someone points out that they are young but they are young it doesn't it doesn't invalidate your intelligence it doesn't diminish anything it's not an attack it's just a fact of life that as you grow as you age, you usually learn things, and obviously there's exceptions to the rule, but that's kind of it. A very big pet peeve of mine in real life, as well as in books. But I also remember one time in my life when I was just like, Ugh, I do know what's best. Just, just looking back at that, I'm just like, girl, you do not, you do not. <laughs> I think I was like 14 or 15. So I'm just at the start of chapter 12. Actually, is this just like halfway? Yeah, it's just like halfway, even a little bit less than halfway. I thought I was further somehow in this book, but I, I think I might make a bit more progress later on. I might actually do some reading sprints if head allows. I ordered some food from the shop that sells Eastern European food. So I'm actually extremely excited to get something to fill in, to tickle that uh, homesickness and um, missing my parents dearly. Um, so I have some food and that always helps me a little bit. Um, so I'm excited for that to arrive. I have a notebook here and I have a mug <laughs> and um, I'm gonna have some juice and I'm going to sit and ponder upon something. I have a decision to make and I've been kind of avoiding that because it's like a sore topic in my mind and I don't, I just don't know. I don't know. So. I don't know. <laughs> so that is my plan now. We don't go the same places that we used to go. We don't ride the same. I also got book mail, so here we go. <laughs> Not sure if this is the same Vanessa, but if this is the same Vanessa, then Vanessa, stop. Stop it. <laughs> this is too much. Um, the note says, Hi G, congrats on reaching the Avatar state before Logan. I was rooting for you as always. Oh, wait, this is the same note, so it's actually the same. Pretty sure, unless I'm tripping which I could be. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to come like at the same time as the previous book, so I'm sorry it got split into two. Um, hell yeah, I won against Logan. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to lose? Not great. Oh, thank you. Okay, so the first one is the Inheritance Games. I actually heard so many good things about this and everyone always seems a bit surprised by that. So um, I'm assuming people go with like mediocre expectations and then it um, is nicer. So I'm gonna hold this here in case you want to read the synopsis. But basically I think this is almost like a, a romance but also thriller mystery. And I'm kind of I'm kind of here for that. And then the next one is this, which I didn't actually know it was so big. This feels like it's maybe like self-published as well, which is good. I need to read more of that. And actually the blurb says the Poppy Wars darkness meets the last airbender's elemental magic. And I remember this was what got me. This was what got me. Although I think I might have seen this first on Aaron's Instagram stories, maybe. Um, 
and it is called The Sword of Kagan. Very exciting. Can read the synopsis here too. I didn't quite realize that it was so big. <laughs> so watch me not get to it for forever. But um, thank you so much for sending these. What? Thank you. It's really, really sweet of you. We don't go the same places that we used to go. Hello, it is Tuesday. Guess who has another stomach bug? Me. This girl. It's fine. Well, it's not a stomach bug as much as I probably have, like, slight food poisoning. You don't need to know this. You do not need to know this. What I'm saying is that I ain't feeling that good. Uh, when do I ever? I should just stop saying anything. <laughs> I thought while I'm feeling like... Shit, no pun intended. <laughs> Okay, I am going to go ahead and try and take my mind of it by doing a little bit of reading. It's almost 11 o'clock, so it's not, it's not too late. I just don't know whether to go for this or should I mayhaps start this. Not very exciting, but I'm currently about to start chapter 16, page 337. I might have already said that. I think I've decided to make this a longer vlog, so... We don't go the same places that we used to go We don't ride the same, but we don't ride the same We don't know the same people that we used to know We don't vibe the same, and we don't vibe the same We don't show the same feelings that we used to show You don't smile the same, I don't smile the same We don't do the same thing Morning. It's Thursday. Um, so I have today and tomorrow off. I thought I was over that. I thought that it was all fine. But throat sore again. But I was wanting to film today. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. And obviously filming requires a lot of talking. So I don't know if that's gonna be a bad idea. See if I can, if, if it gets better as the day goes by. So I'm gonna start with some admin work. Very exciting, I know. And after, after some admin work, we'll see how we are. But it's annoying because I should be doing my makeup if I'm doing my... I also have not read anything. Good stuff. We don't go the same places that we used to go. We don't Welcome to Friday. I was supposed to film today, but there's scaffolding happening outside. I forgot about that. I was definitely told by the neighbors that there's gonna be scaffolding happening. But I forgot, I forgot that that's the day today. But in the meantime, it is currently 11 o'clock and I don't know what I should do. Uh, I think I'm going to um, sit and read this, actually. This is for one of my other prompts. Uh, the prompt was a book you think will be uplifting or comforting. Um, it's a little children's book. I think I've already shown you a couple of times, but it's supposed to be very heartwarming and very comforting um so i think i'm gonna take my late morning um chill and read this and see how we feel and hopefully get one prom done because that that will feel nice that will feel nice <laughs> oh but i did do a lot of reading yesterday um my book is there but i did like read a hundred pages on the life sprints and um i am another hundred or like 90 away from finishing the poppy war it's going fine it's going well uh rin does annoy me sometimes i need to give it a little bit of leeway because she is allowed to make dumb decisions and rash decisions and i know better decisions that's fine but it does get on me and also alton gets on me like well not that it doesn't get on me <laughs> it gets on my nerves because excuse me sir I don't want to say anything, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, I've surpassed the chapter that is supposed to be, um, well, that is the most triggersome and the most, like, people are aware of chapter 21 if they go into it. Um, I can confirm, because I heard that before, I can confirm that plot-wise, you're okay to skip it. Like, it obviously builds the thing, but it's just basically a hard-to-read chapter if you have certain triggers. 
yes, okay, let's let's go. Let's go read this. This was lovely as expected. If I had to pick a couple favorites, I think it would be one of our greatest freedom is how we react to things. That's because it's a thing I keep telling myself whenever things happen. I'm definitely not there yet, but that's why I keep telling myself. Um, another one is, what is the bravest thing you've ever said as the boy? Help, said the horse. And I think my favorite is, is your glass half empty or half full as the mole? I think I'm grateful to have a glass, said the boy. Because that's nice. This is definitely one of the books that is kind of like timeless. And if you have kids, I think it's perfect. But as the beginning says, like it's, it's fitting for anyone from... 8 to 80, um, and anywhere in between. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. I liked it. So I actually, like, put makeup on and, and everything yesterday, so I wish I kind of did this update yesterday, so it'd be nicer to look at, but you'll just have to deal with this. So on Friday, actually, I have finished The Poppy War, Yes, so this bad boy is finished. I've not run it through Copile just yet, but I think I might just do that now. Um, kind of thoughts. I loved the first part. I think the first part would probably fall into like five stars. Then maybe the second part would fall into five, maybe two. And then the rest were a bit lower. However, I will say the things that annoyed me the most were the motivations for things and the fact that it seemed to be super repetitive in the person choosing what they're gonna do. Like, so there were a lot of choices that the main character took to arrive where she was at the end of this. However, I will say that they, that, that was pointed out too. So I'm 99% sure that the feelings that I think most of us are feeling towards the main character and the cast um, at the end are intentional. Like, I, I am very, very sure they are. <laughs> so it comes as, like, a double-sided. On one hand, I'm happy that it's not, you know, tidy and nice as it always is. And on the other hand, it's frustrating because you just want it to learn. You want the person to make the mistakes, but then learn from the mistakes. And I feel like in this character, she continuously made mistakes and doubted herself and had very valid criticism for the actions that she took. But then the next time she was faced with a choice, very closely resembled the choices that she made and questioned and regretted in the past. She still chose the thing that she will probably regret in the future. <laughs> like, why? I mean, the, the reasoning has been given for every choice. So I'm not saying like, why? Why does it not, why do we not know why she's doing it? We do know why she's doing it. I just feel like, I don't like that ignorance of that, but I understand that the emotions involved are very much like overshadowing of everything else. So again, as I said, I think this is intentional, so I'm not gonna hold that against it at all. I think overall I was just a little bit less invested when we came to part three. There was a bit of repetitiveness as well with a lot of kind of dialogue, monologue things of the same feelings. I was just like, I know how you feel about this. I know why you're doing this. Like, I know you've been literally doing nothing else but talking about it. So that was a little bit frustrating. I'm not a big fan of that in books. Red Rising had the same thing as well. So, um, well, The Golden Sun more so, I think. And that hindered my enjoyment a lot. So I think it's just a thing that I don't love. Um, but that being said, I really love some of the characters. I want to see more of those characters. I thoroughly still enjoyed, for the most part, this book. And I also loved the writing style. The writing style is great for me. My personal preference, I love it. Um, so probably gonna be four stars, which is very, very good. I'm definitely gonna be continuing with this. 
I do wish the first part lasted longer and maybe I wish the whole first part was the whole book hoping that maybe I can start the um either the comic or the romance book that I still have in my TBR because I kind of feel like it I'm in the mood at the beginning I was I was very not in the mood for the most of the month for romance like I wanted nothing less than to read a romance but now now I'm okay so I think I'm gonna take that opportunity and start that book and I think am I if it goes anything like the first one in that sister series um, I'm gonna fly through it and I think that would be also quite nice so that's my thoughts we don't go the same places that we used to go here this was a weird one but i feel like i've been saying that for the last couple ones so i guess this is pretty normal <laughs> i have started take a hand danny brown i'm only like 22 pages in so i don't think this really counts as have started it i'm i'm, I'm here as far as pretty humorous it's fun i'm looking forward to actually having more time with it might take a bath to dear tomorrow and uh take the book there for a date yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. At this point, I don't even remember what this vlog had. I think it was Logan's TV avatar. This has taken a couple of weeks for some reason. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome, stay kind, and I'll see you in the next one soon. Bye.